musculoskeletal radiology. Hemolytic anemia, a condition where red blood cells, RBCs, break down faster than they are produced. Etiology, hemolytic anemia can occur due to several reasons, but two of the most common causes are, one, sickle cell anemia. Sickle cell anemia is a genetic disorder where RBCs take on an abnormal sickle shape. These sickled cells are rigid and fragile, leading to early destruction in the bloodstream. 2. Thalassemia Thalassemia is another inherited blood disorder where the body produces abnormal hemoglobin. This leads to excessive destruction of RBCs, causing severe anemia. Radiological Features since the body tries to compensate for the destruction of RBCs, the bone marrow becomes overactive, leading to characteristic radiological changes. Hair on end or crew cut appearance. One of the most striking findings on skull x-rays in patients with severe hemolytic anemia is the hair on end or crew cut appearance. But what causes this? Bone marrow hyperplasia. The bone marrow expands in an attempt to produce more RBCs to replace the ones being destroyed. This expansion leads to thinning of the outer bone cortex, giving it a spiky, vertical appearance, like strands of hair standing on end. Radiograph skull AP and lateral views showing widened diploic space and vertical striations running perpendicularly in diploic space, giving rise to characteristic hair-on-end appearance. Langerhans cell histiocytosis. Rare disorder caused by the abnormal proliferation of Langerhans cells. Clinical features. Langerhans cell histiocytosis is a multi-system disorder, meaning it can affect different parts of the body. Patients may present with bone swelling, often painful and tender, lymphadenopathy, or swollen lymph nodes seen in systemic involvement. Skin lesions, which may appear as scaly rashes or ulcerations, commonly seen in infants. Radiological features. Let's go through the key radiological findings in different parts of the body. 1. Skull. Lytic lesions with beveled margins. In the skull, LCH causes well-defined lytic lesions with beveled edges. These appear as punched-out defects on x-rays due to asymmetric bone destruction. Multiple, well-defined, punched-out osteolytic lesions with scalp edges, geographic skull, are seen in bilateral parietal regions. The lesions have a characteristic beveled edge. 2. Spine. Vertebra plana. One of the classic findings in LCH is vertebra plana, which refers to the complete collapse of a vertebral body. This is the most common cause of vertebra plana in children. On x-ray, the affected vertebra appears flattened, but interestingly, it may regain height over time with healing. In addition, there is compression fracture of the superior end plate of the L3 vertebral body. 3. Mandible. Floating teeth sign. When LCH affects the jaw, particularly the mandible, it leads to erosion of the bone supporting the teeth. This creates the floating teeth sign, where the teeth appear as if they are suspended in mid-air on radiographs. This finding is highly suggestive of Langerhans cell histiocytosis. A classic example of floating teeth in a child with eosinophilic granuloma. Note the bilateral lytic lesions involving the mandible on this panorex view. AP radiograph of the pelvis shows lytic lesions, arrows, involving the iliac regions and the proximal femurs bilaterally. That's all for the video. We'll see you next time.